let's see some ways in which you can include a variable to be part of your string. Here we have a variable called my var, which is set to the string value box. You can perform string concatenation manually. So here we are concatenating the string a dog with the string in my var plus the exclamation point to get a dog box. This is manual concatenation using the arithmetic plus operator. This kind of statement is hard to read. If you specify your string using the f prefix in Python, Python will interpret anything within curly braces inside your string as an expression. The f prefix here basically tells Python that the my var within curly braces is actually a variable or an expression and should be interpreted as such. When you take a look at the result here, you'll see that the value within curly braces has been interpreted as an expression. We get the value of the my var variable, which is the word box, and that is what has been inserted into the resultant string. If you don't specify the f prefix for the string, the value my var within curly braces will be interpreted literally as my var within curly braces. Without the f prefix, this is not interpreted as an expression. The f prefix can be used with single quoted, double quoted, and even triple quoted strings, and anything within curly braces in that string will be interpreted as an expression. Another longer way to format your string to include expressions is to call the dot format function and pass in the variables you want to include within the string. Here, the value within the variable my var, that is the string box, will be inserted into the position of the curly braces in our string to get a dog box. Let's take a look at a few other special characters that can be included within a string. The backslash T stands for a tab. This is how you include a tab within a string. Notice that there is a tab space between the word asked and how are you. Let's see another example with a tab. Hello space backslash T space world. So between the words hello and world in the result, there are two spaces and one tab space. If the backslash character is used to escape quotes and for special characters, how do we include a backslash within our string? Well, we escape it using another backslash. Yes, this is confusing, but this is the standard way most programming languages do this. So if you want a backslash within your string, you'll simply specify two backslashes. The first backslash will tell Python to interpret the second backslash literally. And you can see that the resulting string has just a single backslash after colon and after users.